A reading from the book of Ezekiel. On the fifth day of the fourth month of the fifth year, that is, of King Jehoiakim's exile, the word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, the son of Puzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kebar. There the hand of the Lord came upon me. As I looked, a storm wind came from the north. A huge cloud with flashing fire enveloped in brightness, from the midst of which something gleamed like a lectrum. <coughs> Within it were figures resembling four living creatures that looked like this. Their form was human. Then I heard the sound of their wings, like a roaring of mighty waters like the voice of the Almighty. When they moved, the sound of the tumult was like the din of an army, and when they stood still, they lowered their wings. Above the firmament over their heads, something like a throne could be seen, looking like sapphire. Upon it was seated, up above, one who had appearance of a man. Upward from what resembled his waist, I saw a gleam like electrum. Downward from what resembled his waist, I saw what looked like fire. He was surrounded with splendor, like the bow which appears in the clouds on the rainy day, was the splendor that surrounded him. Such was the vision of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all you His hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. And he has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this is praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? For whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? When he said from foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the subjects are exempt. But that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. Who likes to pay taxes, especially when you think they might be unreasonable or unjust? Jesus and his disciples were confronted by tax collectors on the issue of tax evasion. When questioned about paying the temple tax, Jesus replied to his disciples, 
we must pay so as not to cause bad example. In fact, we must go beyond our duty in order that we may show others what they ought to do. The scriptural expression to give no offense doesn't refer to insult or annoyance. Rather, it means to put no stumbling block in the way of another that would cause them to trip or fall. Jesus would not allow himself anything which might possibly be a bad example to someone else. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your death brought true life and freedom. May I always walk in the freedom and power of your love and truth and reject whatever is contrary to your will for my life. Amen. Thank you.